A very good morning. My name is Alok and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, what's in this video? But uh, before the video, I think you might be wondering what the black and white picture is coming or doing up here. In this world where we have got millions of colors, I am having a black and white picture of myself on the desktop. This is, I'll just uh, tell you brief information about this pic. This pic is clicked by or in Jaipur at the city palace. It used to be the palace of uh, the uh, king of Jaipur. So I clicked the pic there but the point is that why it's in black and white? Because of our video. So what's in the video? Actually the video is related to the black and white problem. Now what is black and white problem? I'll, okay, it's a very small hack or a very small video or a very small tip to turn your uh, world from black and white to color. But friends, I'm not going to change this pick to color because that looks beautiful in black and white. Okay, so what's in this video? Let's see some of the small things. Uh, if you give a LL command, obviously you all know the meaning or the use of the LL command or you can give uh, ls hyphen al it gives you the output in the color like the directories are shown in a different color the png files or the pics are shown in a different colors if there are some tar files or backups are shown in different color that is good because that makes the viewing much more easier and it uh, actually soothes your eyes that's great whenever you you give ls hyphen al command it gives the output in the color or, or you give ll it actually gives you the same thing but what happens as I give ll it scrolls up if you can see there the output scrolls up now I'm trying to just stop the scroll wow the scroll is stopped but have you noticed a thing that now the output is coming up in black and white where the colors are gone so this is the problem I am going to hit in this video. What actually happens is that, so ever wondered why when you give LL or LS hyphen AL pipe less the output comes in the black and white and when you remove the pipe command the output comes in, in, in the color. So means the culprit is the pipe, isn't it? Okay. Uh, to make it easier to understand I'll just give an alias command and will explain you a couple of things. If you see here the default alias is ls is equal to ls hyphen fn color is equal to auto isn't it what this do actually the alias says that it will give the color only when the destination is the terminal screen so when you give ls hyphen a AL the destination by default is the terminal screen so the output comes in the color but when you add a pipe now the destination is not the terminal screen actually the output is going or read or I am redirecting the output via pipe so this particular alias ceases to work or refuses to work so when you give ls hyphen al pipe because when you use the pipe the output is redirected or we, re we are redirecting the output to some file it automatically turns off the color like this isn't it so even if i do ls hyphen al it give me in the color and if if i redirect the output to some file say zebra dot txt and I give a cat of zebra dot txt it is giving me in the black and white why because of this alias because by default it will give you the color only when the output is the terminal screen if you redirect the output either using the pipe or using the file redirection it will turn off the colors so what to do I I want color I want color when I give ls hyphen l or I use the pipe I I want color in this output so the solution is fairly simple just write an alias alias I give ls is equal to ls sorry ls hyphen al hyphen hyphen color so if I if you give hyphen hyphen color ls 
al is ob like obviously the option hyphen hyphen color is the main thing it doesn't care what the output is whether it's a terminal screen or a file it doesn't care or whether you are using a pipe it doesn't care it will just bring the colors back in your life so i just give this that's great now if i give ls hyphen al be ready for a shocker pipeless so obviously al will obviously give me in, in uh, the colors as it it was doing it earlier also but after giving this alias okay if, if i give ls hyphen al pipeless sorry 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 less oh it's not what i had expected it's actually showing you the color codes but i want the colors not the color codes that's good that makes sense and that is really an uh, like a pain in the neck to see a output like this on the screen so what to do apart from adding this alias what you need to do just put one more alias less is equal to less hyphen capital r that will solve the problem now if i give this command wow now i'm using pipe less and still i'm getting the colors that makes sense that's great see here i'm showing you once more i just added two aliases once i had removed the auto feature from the color and i had uses ls the alias of less is equal to less hyphen r so that will remove the color codes that was coming onto the screen now if i give ls hyphen al pipe less it's still showing the output to me in the colors and even if i redirect the same to the same file say zebra.txt if you remember the file and if if i do a cat zebra.txt wow now the even the output the file redirection is storing the output in the color that is really great that is really great that is really making my world more much more colorful than it used to be but if you try to open the i am using the cat command if you see there i am using the cat command it's showing me in the color but if if you try to open the same file via some text editor the, all the hell will lose bro like this it will show you the color codes ag again it is not why what i wanted so what to do what's the solution now okay i'll close this out one solution or say a very layman solution is that whenever you use ls hyphen al whenever you uh, you use uh, or you are trying to uh, throw the output in a file you can always use hyphen hyphen color is equal to auto and then use the file zebra.txt that is one of the solution now if i you open up the file zebra.txt once again it show you in in the black and white and even the in obviously when it is in the black and white the vim will work or the uh, file will appear plain in the plain black and white when you open it in a text editor like the vi but i don't want this it's not the uh, like intelligent thing what to do what i will do now is that if you see there alias so i've got a alias here i will just make a small hack of or like what we intend to do is that why not make it uh, much more intelligent so i'll just uh, sorry i'll just change it i'll do alias ls is equal to ls hyphen hyphen color is equal to auto let it remain what it was it was originally it was auto the color was auto so i changed it back to auto i create one more alias lsp say print and here i give ls hyphen al or whatever hyphen hyphen color pipe less hyphen r you remember less hyphen r so i can use this ls command when i want to redirect the output to a file and i can use the lsp command when i want to show it on the screen that is really good amazing wow i always do amazing stuff is it just give me the feedback now if i'll give you the alias now that's great so i have got two L, two command one is ls that was the original one it is showing you the auto means it will show the color only when it is Uh, the the output is read or is straight away coming onto the terminal so i can use the ls hyphen al and redirect it 
to some file say zebra.txt that's great so if I do a cat zebra.txt it's coming in the black and white and vim zebra.txt will also give me the output what is desired that's great and whenever you want the output on the screen not on the file you can easily use LSP Wow that's great so now it is stopped it is using the page by, by page uh, screen and you are using the less and the colors are, com are, com are coming up that is great so this is a small hack that can make your life colorful I hope you like this video so the the basic crux lies in this and whatever the commands I had shown you in the earlier part of the video so that is definitely going to make your life much more colorful but and I hope you like this video but I hope you again agree with me that this black and white photo is amazing especially the carving out here on the door and nothing compares this black and white pic not even these small hacks so thank you friends once again thank you for being with me I wish to see you again soon thank you very much god bless bye